Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Tarps Off. Uh, today I'm going to do the review of the January 9th NHL games because uh, I missed a day. Um, so, got a few games on the docket. We're going to start off with the Bruins and the Coyotes. Um, so, in the first period, uh, the Bruins opened up the scoring. It's David Pasternak scoring from Pavel Zaka and Morgan Geeky on the power play at 4:41. Second period at 8:12, Clayton Keller answers from Dylan Genther and on the power play. Um, then at 0-2, uh, Boquist would answer for the Bruins unassisted, he them at the lead. Uh, Genther would score one of his own at 16-30 from Logan Cooley and Nick Buse set to tie it up again. Uh, Matthias Michelli would give the Coyotes the lead 52 seconds into the third period from Lawson Krauss. Uh, Jake DeBrusque would tie it up at 5:04 from Lindholm and Geeky on the power play. And then in overtime at 4:04, Nick Schmaltz scores from Clayton Keller and J.J. Moser to win it for the Coyotes. They take that one 4-3. Um, Edmonton and Chicago, um, second game for Chicago with up dart in their lineup. Um, first period, Jason Dickinson, former Canuck, scores unassisted at 5.52. Um, 8.05, Dressel scores from McLeod and Nurse. Second period, McDavid scores from Eckholm and Fogel at 1.32. Third period, no scoring, Evan takes that 2-1. to one. Unfortunately, stop winning, could you? Sorry to all the Oilers fans. Um, anyways, we're going to move on to Anaheim and Nashville. Um, so in the first period, uh, Strom scores at 11-12 from Alex Kalorn. Uh, Vitrano would score one at 14-11 of the first from Lacombe and Kilborn. And then at 17-37, Metabish would score from Terry and Mitchukov on the power play. Second period, Terry would score second of the game from Henrik and Vakaninen at 3-05. Uh, third period, Gudis would score um, from Lacombe and sorry, from the come at 3.16. Um, for then it was Old Nashville, uh, 9.45, Carrier scores from Nyko was shorthanded. Uh, Tomasino would score at 17.02 from McCarran and Yossi. And then uh, Giriano would score from McCarran and Parsonen at 19.15. Uh, but that wouldn't be enough. Anaheim takes it 5-3. to three. Um, Moving on to Florida and St. Louis. Um, Florida's on a nice little run here. Um, first period at 3 uh, 24. Braden Shen scores from Neighbors and Saad. Uh, Kevin Sutton would answer for the Florida Panthers at 15 56 from Gadjevich and Lockwood. Uh, Ryan Hart would score at 1 11 of the second from Kachuk and Barkov on the power play. Um, in the third period at 2 18, Kachuk scores from Verhege. Uh, 5 57, Kachuk scores again from Forsling and Lindell. And then in 1903, Kajak scores to complete the hat trick from Kulikov into the empty net. Uh, Panthers did that one 5 1. All right, Blue Jackets and Jets. Uh, the Jets staying on top of the lead with this one, although they did drop down to second when Vancouver won, but they were still working on this game when Vancouver finished theirs. Um, so, there was uh, first period at 3 12. Uh, Dylan scores from Ehlers and Shifley. Second period at 10.50, Cole Perfetti scores from Sandberg and Schmidt, former Canuck. Um, at 14.03, Morrissey scores from Lowry. Third period at 3.34, Perfetti scores unassisted. And then at 19, or 9.29, uh, Valetti scores from Lowry and Perfetti on the power play. Uh, they were playing Columbus, actually, in this one. So, anyways, when everybody takes that, 1-5-0. All right, uh, LA and Tampa Bay. Um, so, in the first period... Uh, there's no scoring second period. Uh, Dano opens up the scoring from Spence and Moore at 11.31. Uh, Matt Watt would score at 14.30 from Fiala and Moore. Uh, third period at 12.37, Tyler Mott, former Canuck, scores from uh, E.C. Mott to put the lighting on the board. Uh, Brennan Hagel would score to tie it up from Perbix and Lilleberg at uh, 15.39. And then over time, Perbix scores um, from Brennan Hagel at 2.03. To win it for the Lightning through to in overtime. <clears throat> All right, uh, Toronto and San Jose. We'll probably figure out how this one went. Um, the first period at 16:48, Morgan Riley scoring from William Nylander and T.J. Brady. 17:22, uh, Matthew scores from Marner and Nylander on the power play. Second period, Marner scores from McCabe and Lilligren at 1:50 er, at 54 seconds. Um, at 2:06, Holmberg scores from Bobby McCann and David Camp. Um, at 721, Henry Thrun scores from Grandland and Duclair on the power play to put the Sharks on the board. Third period, McCabe scores at 127 from Marner and Benoit. Four minutes, Marner scores um, 
either his second or third, no, just his second, um, from Riley and the on the power play. <clears throat> and then at 5.54, uh, Nick Robinson scores from Nyes and McCabe on the power play. Um, Toronto takes that one, 7-1. Um, moving on to the Kraken and the Sabres. Um, so in this one, uh, Jeff Skinner scores at 457 from Middlestat and Tuck. Um, Yanni Hord scores would score for the Kraken at 1355 from Tolvanen and Bjorkstrand. Uh, Vince Dunn would score at 1850 from Burkowski and Tolvanen on the power play. Second period, 50 seconds in, Alex Tuck scores from Skinner and Middlestat. At 208, Alex Winberg scores from Jaden Schwartz and Brian Dumoulin. And Jaden Schwartz would score again, or one of his own. Yep, yeah, yeah, one of his own. Um, from Tanev and Borgen at 11.34. Then Matty Beniers would score from Will Borgen at 16.13. Third period, no scoring. Seattle takes that one, 5 to 2. <coughs> Alright, Ottawa and Calgary. Um, the first period, uh, Bernard Docker scores from Tarasenko. And Ridley really Gray to give the Senators a 1-0 lead at 4 uh, that we, uh, Connor Jerry would answer, um, unassisted at 4.53. Uh, Kublik would give the Senators the lead back from Ridley really Gray and Jacob Chikorin at 19.57 of the first. Uh, second period, Calgary would tie it up again. For, uh, it's, uh, Sharon Goh was scoring from Herbido and led home at 3.50. Uh, Brady Kajak would score at uh, 12.39 from Drew and Batherson on the power play. Third period, Hannafin would score um, at 47 seconds from Popasil and Zeri. Um, at 57, Coleman would score from Hannafin and Kadri. Uh, 15 and 45, Sharon Goes would score again from Hannafin and Kadri. Let me assist again. Um, and then in, at 17 and 12, uh, Coleman would give the Flames the six goal, no, sorry, three goal lead um, from Backland into the empty net, and that's how it would stand. Kadri takes that one at 6 to 3. Alright, uh, Canucks versus Islanders, um, and people probably know the result of this game, um, anyways, uh, first period at, uh, 16.25, Philip Ronick scores for the Canucks to put them up 1-0 from McCabe and Garland, um, at 18.42, Quinn Hughes will score unassisted, second period, uh, Patterson will score his 20th of the year at 10.20 from JT Miller and Philip Ronick. Uh, Brock Nelson would answer at 11-11 on the power play from Palmieri and Barzell. Um, at 17-24, Myers would score from Bluger and Garland. Third period, Nelson would score again unassisted at 15-15. Then at 18-32, Jacob Joshua would score unassisted into the empty net. Um, yeah, so Canucks win that one and complete the New York Triple Crown. Um, which is kind of strange because New Jersey isn't actually in New York. Across the river, anyway. Um, but yeah, so if they win against Buffalo in a couple of days, um, I'll consider that the unofficial quadruple crown, maybe. I don't know, or the official New York, whatever. That's beside the point. Anyways, um, that's it for the ninth. Um, hit like you liked it, subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.